hey guys this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ETL QL Labs so today we will look at some of the uh, basic tools that we are using in uh, ETL testing or any uh, backend kind of testing right so uh, it's very important that we know that what are the tools we are using and a bit of uh, information for all this tool is also important uh, sometime because interviewer might ask you like which tool you are using and then uh, just to check whether you have really uh, worked on those tools or not right so we really sometime we work on the project but we really don't pay any attention on those tools basically right so uh, that's very important that we also understand what tool and from which company this tool is and all those kind of things right so in the testing um, uh, uh, you know uh, in our uh, software testing right we use basically a uh, very common uh, tool for the for the uh, test uh, you know testing or test case management or bag management right so we use basically one of the test management tool I mean we use multiple but then I will cover only popular one right test management tool so there are two tools which are very popular one is HP ALM and other one is Jira okay so a bit about HP ALM HP ALM is basically very old tool okay so guys this is uh, the one of the tool that I know um, uh, I think it's very old tool basically yeah more than I think uh, somewhere around uh, 18 20 years okay uh, so this tool was basically uh, when uh, it used to come as a test director that's what I know okay I think there are very version okay test director basically this tool and then I'm just uh, trying to tell you the journey of this particular tool and then um, this has uh, been acquired by Mercury Mercury was one of the company so they call it Mercury quality center okay or they also call it Mercury QC okay and then after that this product was acquired by by uh, HP okay and they 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 call this particular I mean there were versions basically but obviously and this was called HP quality center guys okay and finally now the the latest version that is there in the market is uh, is HP ALM okay HP ALM ALM stands for application life cycle management okay application life cycle management okay guys so this is the history about this tool okay and this is one of the very very popular tool uh, that were being used until I think um, I think couple of years back now also this tool is being used uh, very actively and uh, the second tool that is called is Jira okay and this uh, product is from Atlassian and uh, this Jira is uh, specifically designed for uh, uh, to to manage the agile methodology right and nowadays most of the projects are actually using the agile uh, methodology and uh, the team is working in the agile fashion that's why uh, uh, one second guys so nowadays most of the projects are basically following the agile methodology as I said right so this tool from Atlassian is Jira tool right this is uh, very popular and this tool is also called as uh, I will switch agile tool okay agile tool why it is agile tool because uh, it is fitting the agile methodology right so that's where we are actually uh, so this tool is uh, basically using there is a plugin basically if we want to use this tool as a test management tool then we have to uh, use one plugin called uh, Jafire right Jafire this is the plugin yeah once you install this plugin within that particular Jira and then you will be able to use all the test related uh, functionality like test case uh, test case writing test case uh, execution test reporting etc all those things but we have to use this uh, particular plugin right for that okay so this particular tool uh, as I said okay is uh, can serve the purpose of agile or scrum I would say okay uh, not scrum I will say 
any kind of project right so agile um, uh, project management okay plus test management okay both so when I say test management guys what are the things that we consider actually right so let me quickly cover it uh, when I say test management that means basically um, we cover test case writing okay we can write the test case in that then we can uh, do test case execution right and uh, bug reporting okay and also bug reporting bug tracking also right bug reporting and tracking correct and then also um, you know reports report generation whatever right so we want to uh, uh, extract some of the reports how the testing is progressing etc so all those things we can do basically so these are the uh, few or I will say important tasks that we are uh, actually performing as part of our test management tool right and then as I said the agile uh, project management means uh, uh, this is something that the scrum master normally use it right so we are normally not using this particular feature as part of testing so this is about uh, something about the test management tool guys okay now second set of tool uh, second set of tool is basically uh, related to projects right so project related tools so for example let's say you are using the database right uh, either for uh, your uh, source or the target uh, system right in ETL world so what we normally do is um, uh, if we are using it uh, uh, let's say if we are using the Oracle database right so how do we access this particular database right so to access the database we need uh, some sort of client right so those clients basically we uh, we need to know like uh, what which which client we use so they normally ask interviewer might ask you like which client you are using to access the oracle database right you cannot simply access the oracle uh, server right so you have to use it use uh, some uh, what do you say the client to access it right to access the server so one of the tool is the SQL developer guys that you should be knowing and the other one is uh, toad okay so these are normally used in um, you know when where you are operating with the databases so we use normally these two clients basically right so there are many other but I'm just uh, not going to cover everything and uh, and there might be uh, chances that you might be actually using all together different clients as well there may might be the possibility guys but I'm just telling you some of the popular one okay and if you are using the uh, Linux in your project okay uh, then what we do is uh, we basically use a putty you can say we are using the putty software to access the Linux uh, machine right Linux server uh, and once you access that you can actually um, use the shell to type type in the commands etc okay now guys um, this is done because when you are ex using any kind of uh, mm, file systems right uh, uh, source system as a file or uh, flat file etc and that's where you can uh, you normally use the linux and linux is accessed using putty okay so this is about the etl okay okay all right guys and other thing is you can say that uh, your ETL tool right so ETL tool is what's that ETL tool it's uh, you can say Informatica yeah this is the one which is being used widely in the industry guys and there are other also like Clover DX okay and uh, I think Pentaho also Pentaho and uh, data stage data stage and also SAP BOD uh, data services right business object data services SAP so these are the some of the ETL tools basically that uh, that are uh, being used so you can just tell all these tools basically okay so uh, yeah this is about the project tools that we are using right 
and guys uh, what we also need to say that when actually you are working as an automation tester right so okay so python also is one of the uh, important uh, uh, you know part okay so python also is being used when we need to deal with the files basically right so how do we access the python right so to access the python or to work on python we use certain tools so one of the tool is called pycharm okay and then you have uh, jupyter jupyter note okay and our uh, visual studio code so there are some tools that uh, we normally use uh, is so these are called basically id guys right integrated development environment right so we are using this id and also if uh, okay for from the automation point of view if we are you are also using somewhere the web automation you know project right other than etl testing if you also have certain amount of web automation then you can say for web automation we are actually using selenium and to uh, uh, selenium and to write your code etc right we uh, we again have to use okay let's say selenium with java right so your web application is there and you want to automate it uh, automate it using selenium and the underlying language that you are going to use uh, that is java right so to access the java we normally uh, uh, second we normally use uh, eclipse yeah eclipse guys there are other tools also that we are using but i am saying that um, they are the most uh, commonly used one right and uh, then uh, obviously um, github for uh, github is basically for source code uh, management right so, uh, version management tool okay now uh, what else we use we use uh, jenkins jenkins is basically to uh, monitor and schedule right so this jenkins is used and uh, to uh, run the uh, run the multiple uh, you know uh, uh, scripts multiple automation scripts in pipeline etc we use jenkins actually this is kind of scheduler also as well right so we can use schedule uh, using jenkins uh, your uh, your code when it need to get executed your automation code right automation uh, uh, framework right so you can use the Jenkins as well so uh, okay these are the some of the tools guys okay these are normally uh, being used okay so I thought that I will cover this and hopefully I mean these are not extensive these are the very basic one okay so you should be knowing this basically okay these tools at least it should be handy you should be knowing about them yeah little bit uh, what what exactly they do so now you can um, just uh, what you can do you can just google about each of this tool right and you should have a bit of information about all this deal so that you know uh, you can answer if there is any uh, uh, questions related to tools or uh, software and tools that that are being used in your uh, projects right or in uh, as part of your testing projects right so these are something a few things that we need to know okay and uh, yeah that's all guys I think this is very smaller video and I thought that you know uh, this might be helpful for some of you uh, that's the reason I thought of covering okay and uh, I'll really see you soon uh, with the next video guys okay and um, yeah uh, I'll say that uh, yeah uh, until we meet next time uh, I would say happy learning God bless you and bye